like a rhinestone cowboy. Glenn Campbell's son is speaking out about the family drama surrounding the singer's death. I love my dad. I loved him very much. Travis Campbell says he's upset about his stepmother's recent claim that he wasn't there for his famous dad as he descended into Alzheimer's. Was there any sort of ill will between you and your father? Of course not. Of course not. I love my dad. But listen to what Glenn's widow Kim told Inside Edition last week. Travis is hadn't visited his dad in 20 years. Glenn Campbell left a $50 million estate when he died last August. The bulk of which goes to Kim, his wife of 34 years, and five of his kids. Travis and two other children from another marriage get nothing. That was all done in 2002, and that was a choice that was made by Glenn, not me. Your father apparently wrote the will in 2002, and he wrote you out of the will. Uh, are, are you aware of that? I mean, this was before his illness even. How do you explain it? There's, there's ongoing things that are transpiring in... Um, in, in Nashville, I mean, so that's something I'd, I'd prefer not to answer. Travis says he objects to his stepmother's claims about being an absent son. We were able to see him twice a month for four hours at a time. In a statement to Inside Edition today, Kim Campbell said Travis only began seeing his father in his final year and a half of life. But for 20 years before, he only saw his father once. Travis insists he wanted to spend even more time with the singing legend, but Kim wouldn't allow it. Do you think Kim was purposely trying to keep you from your father? Yes, I do. For what purpose? I could not answer that question. I never, ever denied them a visit, ever. They never, ever called me to ask how he was doing or if they could help. It hurt me that she had, you know, insinuated that I hadn't seen my father in over 20 years. Um, I love my dad. Like a